today we are making 11 cards out of one sheet of 12 by 12 designer series paper. This is, this was shared by Shannon West, who's a DDM at Stampin' Up, so she's on staff, and a whole bunch of us have been using this. I think it is just such a great idea. So uh, I'll quickly show you first. What we're gonna be doing is using one sheet of 12 by 12, but we're actually using two cut in half to make one. So I've already made this set of cards over here, which I'll be showing you. And then you can make a second one. And the reason for that is we'll have four, four patterns to work with. Now, you know, making lovely, you know, patterns and stuff on the computer is just one of my uh, best skills in life, not. So here's my homemade version. <laughs> so this is what we're gonna be doing. And I like to do it this way first. So this is our first step. We're going to just take these and cut them this way. I love working from there because then we can take each one and work from there. Actually, this is my next class is going to be all about one sheet wonders and we're going to be doing a totally different design with, with this idea. And then I will cut these apart so then we can do a section at a time. That's, that's just how my brain thinks more easily. And then we're going to do a bunch of others with six by sixes which perfectly fits into all the paper shares, the different ways to use up our paper, to store our paper. The class is only $15 and I'll put a link on there and we meet three times plus a wrap up. So it's kind of like a weekend retreat. So it's an awesome deal and it's a great way to use your stash. So first thing we're going to do is cut. So I have them together and I'm going to use this. So I'm going to cut at four and a half. Oh, you better get the right one. Okay, this is the right one. So, oh, I did something to my, um, oh, I'm missing my blade. I must, I must fix that. Okay, to the rescue. I always have another. <laughs> so, so it's all good. So we're going to go with four and a half. And then if you look on here. The next group is going to be four inches, so we'll move that to four. And that leaves the last one at three and a half. Okay, so I'm just going to put these on like this. And we're going to start with this group. So on this group, can I just, a little announcement here. Tim, Sister Mary was just saying she's been watching the on tour videos and you guys were doing, usually Stampin' Up! has a thing in person at this time of the year and because of the COVID-19, it's all online and it is being so much fun. So we are kind of having like a retreat with them. I know every single one of you would love to be a part of this. So if this is appealing, just think about getting the starter kit. You know, we just talk about that because, oh my goodness, the fun things you get to be a part of are are just amazing. Okay, now a couple things that I love about this is that um, Jan says you have two paper cutters. Let's just say I don't get rid of paper cutters when a new comes out because you know you always want your backup. Uh, so I have, mm, I, I don't think we'll count. <laughs> so now I'm going to take each one of these and cut. So since we're doing this one, you can see that we're going to cut at one and a half and three and then we're going to cut this in half. Okay, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to cut at one and a half. Well, I'm going to cut at three first because it will be easier to be cutting off my... Really what I'm cutting is one and a half inch strips. And so by just thinking of the one and a half, that will really help. And then we're going to cut these in half and since this is... This is... Um, Um, I was going to just say, what what is this? This should be six inches. Oh, it is six inches. Okay, I am having... <laughs> okay, switching paper cutters. Yes, I have several, but sometimes when I switch, they look a little foreign to me. Okay, so we're going to cut these in half at three. Oh, bear with me, guys. I am 
Okay, sorry. <laughs> oh, see, several of you have paper cutters. Oh, I have a paper guillotine too because that's what I I like to use. And then I have I have big heavy duty one for all of the card kits and classes I work on. I have that kind too, and that'll do a whole pack of paper. So yes, I have them all. So really, these are the ones I just use when I'm on doing a video. Okay, so now I have all of these pieces. And look how cool this is, because I've got, see, we, can, we have them look like that, and then we have a bunch that look like this. So for this first round, here's the only other paper I need other than my base cards. And you know what I did for my base cards? I took all the different colors in this paper pack. This is so fun with the greens. And I guess I don't have them here, but look how many, we're using all these different colors. So I just put out all my sheets, cut them, and so then as I was working, I could pick from anything that worked with this. I love doing that, putting a bunch of things like that together that then you're going to choose from. So now I have, I'm gonna make four cards like this. So the only other thing I need here is four sheets of Whisper White. And these are cut five inches by three and a quarter. And that's because we want to fit these on. So if you wonder, how, well, how do you get those measurements? It's just, if these are three inches, then this is gonna be three and a quarter. And if these are one and a half, so then we're just gonna add. So it's all just based on there. And do you see I can make them all different? So I'm gonna just start putting these together. So when I put these together, I'll flip, I'll flip them all over. I am going to be using these cards. I'm trying to make a bunch of cards out of the new products because those of you that are getting catalogs from me, you're getting your catalog separate from Stampin' Up! I did that this time, but I will be sending you a little card using something new and just some other little information in it. So that will come separately. So that's what I'm going to work on all these cards for. And the thing that's cool about these, you know, there's no right or wrong. I'm just trying to do them so that they're going to be different. Okay. Yeah, Karen, sometimes different is overrated, but you know, <laughs> but you guys know what I mean. I, I love that. You know, I'm not even spending time thinking it through because it wouldn't even matter if at the end I had everything all the same. Let's say if I had three all the same, I could just still make it like that and it'd still be different. That's why, you know, you can do no wrong with this. My blade on this cutter isn't quite as sharp as my new IC, but that will be okay. Okay, so we'll do that and let's see, we'll just, I was only trying to make them different from these just so that you're seeing differences like but it doesn't matter because I can show you the ones that I've that I've done but is this a cool way to make cards now of course you could take a piece of paper and just cut all of yours like this too and make someone she wonders but it's really kind of fun to make these 11 cards that are all simple but you get a fun variety with them and anytime you change your paper you're going to get totally different looks the thing about the classes that I teach what I love about it is and I oh, see and I, I did it this way without even meaning to I left those um, it could even all be the same just as a window pane you know put a put aside but we do things like this so we cut our paper and then everyone's using their own paper and they put up what they made so it's just sharing and you can come back to it as often as you want to and so we just are learning a whole bunch of different styles to put on so check out the link if that sounds interesting. Okay, so I have these done. And then these are just gonna go on my paper. I'm just gonna find these here. Let's see, one, two, three, and four. And what I chose to do was to use just one word. This is from kind of, I think that fancy frames one, one of you will put it on, you know, we always know that, but you make me happy. I just think in this time, this is a really fun stamp set because you do make me happy. And this is a time where we're really looking at gratitude and uh, 
And so I just thought this was just kind of a perfect sentiment. And you can see, I just cut them out. I just punched them out with a punch and then put a circle punch behind them to kind of accent the colors. And then all I've added is little bits of trim. So I'll put those aside. So this one is just plain. This one has all the ribbons in this are so, oh, this is such a soft, pliable, fun ribbon to work with. And here I actually added a bow, which I rarely do. And here I added the other ribbon that comes with this because a fun little accent. So just some different ideas. And then setting that aside. So that took care of this one. Now we'll move on to this middle one, which is going to be these sets of paper. And the first thing we're going to do is cut three fourths inch off the bottom. <laughs> Sandy's had to make it too easy. I know. <laughs> oh, I've seen what you make. And you, uh, yeah, you make it great. So I said, it's all fun. <laughs> but isn't this a fun way to do cards? <laughs> yeah, the catalogs are sent by third class and there's no rush. So um, I think we're, you know, we're kind of all in this waiting on what <laughs> <laughs> whatever it is. So, okay, so I'm going to go down three quarters of an inch. That's going to be five and a quarter. And do you know why we're cutting this part off? Because now this is going to be strips for cards and cards are five and a half. So do you see that's why we want this to be five and a quarter. So now we have four inches. So I'm going to set this aside because it's going to actually go with something later. I'm going to cut this into four one inch strips. So it's four inches wide. And we're going to get four cards out of out of this too. So if that's four, I'm going to go down to three. Um, I'm sure catalogs have already been sent by Stampin' Up! So it is just a matter of us being patient to wait for them. Okay, so here are my four strips. And this time I'm going to take my cards. No, Tim, I have some cards talk like this out on the table. Okay. Do you want green. just just plain? Do they're just some greens, just plain? Yes, if Tim can find my you know, array of papers, I could actually do one of these from scratch. Okay, but these are going to be the next set. And I said, aren't these fun? They all they look so different. And this paper is all just in greens. Makes me think spring, which I love. But even when the papers are kind of all greens, look at all the different colors we have to work with. And again, I'm using the same words and I'm only accenting with a few rhinestones. So to make these, do you find any? We'll, we'll take a pause here. We'll wait for Timmy. He, he calls in from the other room. I'm colorblind. I can't see. I said, no, it's, but it's all of them. Oh, it doesn't matter. It, there's a pile that has even more colors, but it's okay. okay. Do you see how there's just, I just laid out an array of colors so I'd have to pick from. Some of the colors are already used up. This is the new, one of the new in colors. So how cool is that? Nope, this is good. Thank you much. So these are the cards that we're going to make. I'm just going to share, show how to fold this. So I have my regular cardstock and it is scored at four and a quarter. I'm just gonna make one more score at one and a quarter. And that's because these are one inch strips. So I'm going by the strips and whatever makes sense in cutting. So you can always change things, which I think is just kind of an awesome thing. So this folds regularly and this folds over. And I like to, I'm gonna make mine stick down. So now you can see, I'm just gonna take these strips and just figure out Again, I can, I have four choices of what to work with. So let's just pick something on this one. I'll look at my choices here. Okay, I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna put this one right here. And I did wanna show something, do you, you know, this would work I could even use the same and it's a nice look. So I just love that you could do any variety of things. We'll do the opposite side. So it's kind of like, you know, the flip cards that I you flip your paper over and you get another choice. Oh, oh, this is, I, I did that one upside down, but it's okay. My leaves are falling today. It's, it's all good. And then I'm just going to add this and my rhinestones. 
So look again at these choices. So this was made out of this second piece. And now what we have left is the third piece and this right here. So here is our third set. I will clear the decks. If you notice, we're up to eight cards now, so we have three left. So I'll set that aside and, oh, I have a little stray glue dot. I think that happens, okay. And I am first going to cut off. So I'm gonna look at this. I'm going to cut, let's see, I'm gonna cut um, two at one, let's see. I have to turn it around so I can read, you know, so you can tease me about my reading too. It's totally fine. It's just the upside down doesn't work anymore. <laughs> So this is, I think, you know what I did? I put a wrong thing. I put the same thing on twice instead of the actual thing. Just know it'll be corrected on the, on the pull. I have to take, tear that one off because I don't want you going by that. So see, I'll just do another. It's my, you know what's great though? This is easily, easily fixed. I'll just put a new thing on. It's kind of like when you make a mistake on a card and you end up laying your cards as long as there aren't too many layers, you know, it's still going to work fine. As long as it still goes through the mail. <laughs> That's why this was confusing. So this one, I'm going to cut off one and a half inches here. <laughs> I'm sure glad you guys can laugh along with me because be a little lonely laughing myself. Am I having issues with my, oh, it's, I brought up the wrong... Yes, what am I having issues with today? Everything. Now we'll cut off one and a half. While I'm cutting that off, I am going to cut this in half. So this is three and a half. So I'm going to make it one and three quarters. No, okay, <laughs> three, three and a half is going to be, yeah, you're right. is, am I right, one and three quarters? Oh. I heard Tim laughing and then I well, thought, okay, he must, he must know something that I don't like. I did my math wrong. And I thought, well, that's interesting. But he, I, I'm going to set that aside with those other two little pieces. And I'm going to take this and cut it in half. Sometimes I think it's easier just to think that. So this is four and a half. So half is going to be two and one eighth. All right, four and a half. That was four and a half. So I'm going to do two and one eighth. Now, if I'm doing anything wrong, just know that this is all adaptable. It really wouldn't matter if I cut these a different way. It would just sort of change the look of my card, but it wouldn't not make a nice card, if that makes sense. So it, it's all fine. And now again, I have these and I can show all four sides. And what I'm going to make this time on my card is, I'm gonna make these, so I'm gonna flip it over. We're gonna pretend this is a brand new card. So I'm just gonna pick two and put one on the top, one on the bottom. I'm gonna space them just like that. And then I'm going to take one of my, those extra little long pieces and pick whichever one to go across. So this is my layout right there. So that's used those two extra pieces and it's using these. So the two cards that I end up with are right here. And if you notice this time, I took both the ribbons that come in the suite and I just wrapped the little metallic thing just right around the other ribbon, tied it, and it just kind of made a fun little accent. <laughs> Peggy says she's making a lot of COVID cards lately and saying good enough is good enough. Oh, I'm with you. Just get them sent. Oh, this is such... An important time to be sending cards. I think that is so so cool. <laughs> um, Kathy corrected me on the amount that it was, but it's it, but it's it'll be fixed on my blog. But you know, if you're a perfectionist, I consider it my personal job to get you over that because you know these are just cards. It's a moment of time thinking of you, and you know. Any little variations on here are still gonna make great cards. They're gonna make them your own. <laughs> but there will be a link to the um, everything corrected. <laughs> Just, and then the last one, we're sitting with these four extra little squares. Okay, so we have all four things. 
put them on a card together and here is the last card so this is the 11th card so how cool is this so of the different styles we have this style one of this style one of this style two of this style and four of this style so there's a theme going on here and yet they're all very similar and they're all easy to make and you change up your paper change your words you have you know, change what you're going to put on them you have totally different set of cards these would also make great gifts because you could package like three different styles together tie them up in a ribbon give them to somebody and it's just a nice little thinking of you gift too yeah we want to bring um sending cards back in style yes we are single-handedly going to keep that post office open and be delivering happy mail i said you know happy mail is just an amazing thing to get right now so so uh, thanks that's it and i